everyone, it's Honey. Uh, a short video uh, before I go uh, 10 days to uh, Spain. And uh, well, I think I'm going to vlog with my granddaughter in Spain. I'm not sure if, it, uh, if we succeed in that, but we, uh, my granddaughter and I, well, we both like uh, drawing and well, playing with all kinds of mixed media stuff. So we are going to do that in Spain too, I hope. And uh, well, to uh, show you something I saw on uh, YouTube from uh, Victoria Designs. Uh, she makes uh, folks, folks metal book corners and uh, she has a very uh, nice way to do that and uh, I'm going to make, uh, I did make a few but I make them a little bit different because I am going to emboss um, the paper before I cut the book corners. So I want you to show uh, how I make them. So I just put a uh, white paper here because when I, that's just my, uh, well, it's a bit dirty now, so you can't see what I'm doing, so I'm placing a piece of white paper there. Uh, what I did was uh, draw the corners just like uh, she did. Uh, I put a link in the description box below, I forgot to say that. I show you uh, how she draws her uh, her corners. I did already a few, but for you I draw it once more. Uh, what you have to do is uh, decide how the width of uh, your book corner. Well, I do uh, one inch and that's uh, two and a half centimeters. So that's my width. So I draw a line of two and a half centimeters, like so. And turn the paper 90 degrees and I draw a line of two and a half centimeter too. So that's going to be the corner. Now I'm going to there and there take the width of the book, the the, the, the thickness of the of the cardboard, and uh, that's three centimeter uh, three millimeters three millimeters and it's uh, an eighth of an inch or a tenth of an inch what's it one two three four five six seven eight nine. and tenth of an inch so i'm going to three millimeters i zoom a bit in so you can watch it a bit better one moment. Well, I'm not speeding it up, so it won't be a short video, I guess. But that doesn't mind. So, so that's the thickness of. Let's just do it that way. Sorry if my head is in the way, because I have to line it up. So. Then um, I draw a line of two and a half centimeter over there for the back side. This is the front 
yeah that's your corner we are going to uh, to decorate that and two and a half centimeters and then you draw a line that's the back between this line this line this line and this line like so and then you draw a line 90 degrees like so from that corner to that line and that corner to that line and we are going to cut that away that away and that away and when you cut that out where are my scissors and I forget that because I'm doing that later so uh, well I can cut it this way and that way so you have and I cut this out and this out and what I'm going to do is I'm making an, uh, a chablon, a uh, example so you can uh, trace it when you make your real, your real corners on embossed paper um, well you can make different uh, style of corners I have three I guess, yeah three I have this one with little bows and this one with the bows the other way and just like oh oh I'm not focused okay so I yeah so I have um, a corner with the bows like so and a corner with the bows like so and with a circle and how I did that, I just bend it up, I fold it in half or in two, how do you call that? And then draw a pattern and cut it out. So both sides are equal. So now I have one with three little bows. <coughs> and then what I'm going to do is, well, I take this one. And what you have to do is when you uh, traced it on the paper you want to use you have to score those four lines not the middle only those four lines so I'm going to trace this one on embossed paper I did on um, cardstock cardboard may cardstock so I put the example on the paper and draw oh, the pencil draw or trace the corner like so. Yeah. Cut it out. Like 
eggshell. And now I have to fold it, but before I do that, I score the lines with the back of a knife. And the lines are between this corner and this corner, this corner and this corner, like so. Yeah, can you see it? Yeah. But the back of my knife, I'm going to score it, not cut it, because then you have no corner. You don't have a corner anymore. If you cut it, just score it. And the other side from that corner, that corner, that, oh, I forgot. I cut it the wrong way, well, I don't care. So, that way, and that way. And now I bend or fold the corner like so. My camera is in a different angle, I think, because I'm still always out of focus. So that's the corner. And to um, make it a solid corner, we cut, just cut a, a triangle from uh, the paper. Two and a half centimeters and two and a half centimeters. Just cut it from there to there. And we glue that in the corner. Like so, I do it with a glue stick, that side, and just, that's the back, just like so, glue it on. to cut it a bit like so it's more equal so now if it's good it fits so that's the corner you have oh and so it fits like so and now we're going to give it a nice color. Now I'm uh, and I get some copper or bronze. Yeah. From Aileen. So a small one, this one. A long time no use, yeah. So uh, my tweezers.
and you can uh, cut it from um, plain paper but I like the embossed version so that's why I want to show you my piece of my corner so let it dry like so and now I'm going to dry it so this is the corner where is my there and this is the book and you just can glue it on there so you have a nice corner and of course you can do that for all uh, four corners uh, I zoom out a bit again so so that was uh, this was my uh, short short video to show you how I make uh, my book corners I uh, recommend that you watch uh, the video of Victoria designs because she explains it a lot better than I do so um, the only difference is that I uh, I do it with embossed paper and I well she does round corners like so she does round corners like so and I do uh, well different corners different variations of corners like so but I recommend that you uh, watch her video so that's it for now uh, I'm going on holiday and maybe um, I'm going to vlog from Spain I'm not sure yet uh, but if I don't uh, well you see me again in about a few weeks I guess and uh, well thank you for watching bye